Today I'm really working um, with the Sustainable Control of Parasites group, SCOPS, uh, and we're looking at um, drenching technique and trying to get farmers to realise that anthelmintic resistance is an issue for them, but there are things that they can do to try and, uh, and slow it down a little bit. NSA are very much an important partner in the Sustainable Control of Parasites group. So that group is a pan-industry. The whole industry is involved right the way through from the manufacturers to the merchants to vets. Uh, and NSA are a very important um, funding partner within that because unless we can take the whole industry with us, um, you know, the messages start to get diluted, they're not so consistent. Today, A, the first message is that, you know, antelmintic resistance is something that they should be aware of and it's, it's everybody's problem, it's not just someone else's. But really, we're just trying to take it back to the basics of saying a lot of drenches that are used aren't given at the right, in the right way, so we're not getting an effective kill a lot of the time. And that, as well as being hurt in their pockets, is also um, one of the factors that's accelerating resistance. So it's a little bit like the same story as with antibiotics in humans. If people don't finish the course, then that accelerates antimicrobial resistance. It's a bit the same with worms and antelmintics. If you don't hit them with an effective drench, you'll encourage resistance that bit quicker. I mean, the first thing is we need to drench to wait. And, you know, most people, we know when we've done these things before, if you put a pen of sheep in front of people and say, well, guess the weight, 75% usually will underestimate the weight. So we're saying to them, look, whatever you do, weigh some. It's important that you get the right dose rate, the heaviest in the group. And interestingly, the group that we've got here are ewes. The average is about 65 kilos, but they range from 78 and a half to well below in, into the 50s. So really, we would say split that group, particularly if you're using an expensive product so that you get them both right, but you're not over drenching where you don't need to. Um, so that's the first one. Second one is calibrate your gun. Guns are notoriously unreliable and they need calibrating very, very regularly. And the third one is to get the check technique correct. Most people surprisingly have never actually been shown how to drench a sheep. They've just picked a drencher up and it's assumed you know what you're doing. And it's really important that we get that drench in there over the back of the tongue so that we don't miss out the rumen and it end up somewhere in the sheep that um, it's not going to do any good at all. So, simple stuff, but it all adds up to the fact that we're pretty sure the majority of drench that gets used in the UK is below par in terms of having it delivered at the right rate in the right place. Faecal egg counts are a really useful technique um, and particularly useful to get farmers to check whether or not the drench that they've used is effective or not. And from our point of view, that's good reinforcement because if you go back and take a sample and realise it's not been effective, then it's one of two reasons. Either you didn't do it right, the dose rate was wrong and your technique was wrong, or possibly you might have some resistance. Um, so so faecal egg counting, that's a really good place for people to start. Um, and yeah, we used to tell people use the same drench for a whole year, um, but now with the modelling that we've got and the experience that we've got, we know that we can no longer um, advocate that because we have different types of worm over the year. Um, and it's really important, particularly with the two new groups that we've got, the group four and the group five, the advice is to use those about this time of year because it will help to redress the balance um, of the damage that you've done with the other groups up to that point. Uh, whereas if you carry on just using those groups, you're building the resistance during the year, never mind year on year.